Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're going to talk about a hot topic that you often ask me in comments, which is basically jobs in Luxembourg. Today we're going to specifically focus on jobs in demand for 2022 in Luxembourg. So let's get started. First of all, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you are interested in topics of Luxembourg, I have a whole playlist about it, which is going to be linked in the end of the video. And to not miss any of my future videos, please subscribe to my channel. That way you will be able to enjoy them in the future. I post every Wednesday and Sunday afternoon on European time. So yeah, we can start now with the video. First of all, I would like to mention that Luxembourg has relatively low unemployment rate. For last month, it was below 5%, exactly 4.7%. Just so you know, in comparison in France, this rate is 7.3%, which is higher than what you can have in Luxembourg, which is totally explainable for many French people coming here and people coming from abroad. Luxembourg, as I always say, it's relatively easy place to find a job. Obviously not every single job. Recently I was talking with someone on Instagram and the person told me that they are a graphic designer with already a few years of experience and they have hard time to find a job here. So yeah, today I will tell you what you can find a job in, how to make it easy and what you can expect from the city. I would say mostly the city because there is not so much stuff outside of the city and in the city of Luxembourg you will be able to find bigger offices. So let's start with the first job that is popping up quite often. It's IT developers. You have many companies that need IT support on many different levels. I would say, me personally, I would say that it's not for someone who is with PhD level or whatsoever, but who enjoys IT, informatics, computer science, however you want to call it, you will find a job here relatively easily. Every single company needs someone from IT, needs IT team. So people are required for the jobs, either for improvements or for projects. Actually, there are many consultants in IT sector. What I mean by this, they are self-employed and they basically do invoices to the company that employs them. So they are mostly employed for a project or for do the specific team for a fixed term. And they are actually in high demand and they can request quite high salaries as well. Another job that is in demand, I would say it's from the economical, financial, business areas. There are a few of them. I would say one of the most popular ones are accounting slash financial financial control. These jobs are very, very requested in the city of Luxembourg. You have many financial institutions, banks, and places where you need these people. And what goes with it, there are all big force companies and other consulting companies who require audit. I would say people who go there are people who studied finance, economics, accounting, all that stuff, because this is very needed for the job. I wouldn't say that if you study something else, you cannot study it, but this allows you to do it much quicker, much easier. So audit is another very, very requested job here in Luxembourg, both for internal audit for the companies and for the consultancy, big four. I know many people who work for different big four companies in audit, and I can tell you it's the job that you can find quite easy in a way. You obviously have a huge competition, but if you are into it, Luxembourg is a place to go to because you will have nicer salaries than in other countries for big fours, and you will have relatively better working hours. Staying in all this business school relation topics, it's finance and fund accounting. Luxembourg is super known from funds. So here a lot of people, companies create funds because of the tax reasons mostly, also because of different restrictions that are easier or better to follow. So funds are super, super known for to be in Luxembourg. There are tons of funds and many, many banks and companies managing funds or actually funds need people who know finance, who are interested in funds. So definitely this is the type of job that you can get. Even if you have never had contact with funds and you just graduated, you can go there and you can do anything from controlling to, to managing. You can also go to portfolio management, which is maybe not strictly going to, to funds, but it's related to finance. So any financial job will be found here in Luxembourg, but don't be surprised if you're going to end up with funds. They're quite nice. For example, right now me, I'm working with funds and I have a few friends who do it as well. So this is a thing that you can expect in Luxembourg to pop up very often. You will see jobs that want you to have either experience in fund or will tell you that you will work in funds. And another two jobs connected to the business related topics are banks. So everything in banking, asset management, wealth management, you will find it here. Not only funds related, but any type of the stuff like this. And on the top of it, you will find a lot of risk management opportunities for you. So if you are studying anything on the business school related topics, make sure that you're going to come here to start your career. I think that Luxembourg is quite a good place to start your career. It's relatively easy to find a job. The jobs have quite nice salaries, even if you are a trainee. Many times I mentioned it that when I was a trainee in EIB, I already have 1,500 
which in some countries, this is a base salary for junior positions and the quality of life, it's much higher here and the, and the cost of life is not much higher than in other countries. So it's a good place to find a job and you are not requested to have 10,000 internships, which for example happens often in Spain and Italy. You actually may jump into a junior position straight away after university. You just have to show up that you did projects, that you are a responsible person, that you have a knowledge. You are not requested to have job experience to start a junior position. If you don't get any junior position, go for the traineeship six months or five months and you are done. Definitely feasible, mostly in a financial, economical, banking sector, as I mentioned last few points. So yeah, go for it. Moving a little bit away from uh, finance, but still staying in a business, it's consultancy. Consultancy that it's easy to find here. There are many, many different consulting companies, not only big four. So you have a chance to start your consultancy work here. Don't be surprised if your consultancy may end up with funds. As I mentioned earlier, it may be also connected to this, but there are many, many different ways to end up with consultancy. Next one, maybe not that obvious, but gastronomy. So they need cooks, they need people who are gonna be waiters or waitresses and they're gonna wash the dishes. So this is job in demand for sure in Luxembourg. However, for this job, I would say you would need to know French at least, if not even Luxembourgish. So it's a little bit more tricky if you only know English. For all the other previous jobs that I mentioned, unless you're gonna work in a French fund, I mean, French fund, let's say, French-speaking company or Luxembourgish fund, I would say there should not be a problem that you don't speak French. It might be useful that you know languages in consultancy, but most of the jobs just require English and any other language just will help you. So yeah, definitely gastronomy sector is also in need. I know that there are also many cleaning services. It's quite normal here that you have a cleaning lady or that the company cleans the places for agencies. So if you are interested in this type of job or do it as a side job when you are studying or if your visa or whatever other documents allows you to do it, that's a thing to go for in my opinion. Minimum wage in Luxembourg is definitely high. It's above 2000 euro net a month. So I'm pretty sure that you can get good money as a side hustle when you are studying. Or if you wanna have a permanent job, go for it as well. I think that this is a good way to use your knowledge and skills for uh, this type of job. So if you're interested in these jobs, this is also always in the med in Luxembourg. Last two jobs that I would like to mention are actually legal sector. So either lawyers, judges are actually legal consultants. This is the jobs that I wouldn't say that every company needs, but most of the companies or banks, they have the legal sector, legal division in their bank. The same, there is like court of justice, parliament, all the European institutions that will need legal consultancy and as well people after law, either lawyers or uh, any other type of title you get. For some of the jobs, again, French may be required. You may be requested to actually know Luxembourgish law or French law or European law if you end up in European institution. However, I believe that many, many things you can learn and many, many things you can get just by showing how much you want to learn. Unless the language is required, like let's say French, in my opinion, you can do anything if you go for the entry level job. So if I were you, I would try. If you are in the legal sector, just to get it here because they're both public companies and private companies, they're huge private companies for legal sector. And I know a few people who do it as well. Many people who know French comes here after their studies to become the lawyer because then you have to write the exam in French. So they just do it. For example, a few people from France I know, they do it this way. So they know French already. The law, I assume it's quite similar to the French one and they just pass their, want to pass their exam. They didn't pass it yet, but they want to pass the bar exam here. And last but not least, from the specific sector of jobs, it's translations. Both Court of Justice, European Parliament, I assume they're also Commission and probably some other European institutions, they need translators. So normally how it works is that you did the linguistic studies in your native language. So let's say I am Polish, I would do studies in Polish and I go to work in court of justice or in parliament to uh, help in translation or to do a proofreading or any other type of translation jobs. I have few friends who do it. It's a relatively nice job. You can meet many people. You can learn a lot. You learn the specific programs and way the documents should be translated, done and whatsoever. 
So definitely this is a thing that I would recommend you if you just finish your linguistic studies. Try to apply to European Parliament for the traineeship. I have the whole video about how to apply, when to apply and what to do. So if I were you, I would try it because it's a great opportunity for you. And yeah, that would be basically it. Always check out the public institutions. When I say public, I mean European institutions because public sector for Luxembourg mostly requires Luxembourgish, which is limited, I would say. Even if you don't use it, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I assume that Luxembourgish people go and they expect to the person to speak in Luxembourgish. Maybe some documents are in Luxembourgish, but Luxembourg technically has three official languages, which is German, French, and Luxembourgish. So I think if you know French and German, you should be fine. However, yeah, it's a mess with public institutions for Luxembourg. However, European institutions, they give you tons of job opportunities. So if you have a higher degree from university and you are in related topics like this, you will find a job. Another place that I can tell you that brings a lot of people are Big Four, as I mentioned before, and also Amazon that has a headquarter here. So if you're interested in any type of these jobs, these are the places to hit as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about it? Do you think you're going to come to Luxembourg? Are you planning? Did I highlighted something that makes you think that this is the place for you? If yes, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So this video will reach more people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about studying abroad, my life abroad, currently in Luxembourg, traveling, and some university tips. So if you don't want to miss any of my future videos, I post every Wednesday and Sunday. Subscribe to my channel. And here I leave you the video about why you should move to Luxembourg in 2022 and the Luxembourgish playlist. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you in another video.